Hey, this is Stu at 120 Wellington Main Street um, at that highway commercial home that you've been very interested in. And we had a little dip off the market there back on on day two. Um, as you can see, a great view right from the uh, front door there of the water. Being so close to the road, you can imagine the setbacks and stuff make it almost impossible to uh, build anything there. Plus I'm seeing cattails, probably marshland and build at your own peril. Um, anyways, views are preserved. I'm gonna step inside the home into a nice uh, kitchen dining combo. Pretty open concept. Um, we've got a decent depth. Width isn't crazy, we'll probably have like 10 feet, but there's lots of configurations you can work with to make this work. Um, we've got our election cooktop, electric, electric cooktop there. Our sink with a little filter on it, um, some other appliances. Nothing is necessarily included, but if the offer is reasonable, we can start talking. Um, as you can see, things are a little dated, but nothing I'm seeing is being uh, major renovations beyond what you would normally be pulling out of a dated home. Um, always keep that in mind that you're going to have to replace it and redo it anyways. Walking into a nice size bedroom here um, with the size of the home being four bedrooms, two baths and the layout being the way it is, you probably have a lot of um, ways you can reconfigure this to make it more of a home that works in the modern day or combination of 50s and 70s on this build. Um, with a little shower insert here, a little bit of storage. We have um, baseboard heating there. Very simple, effective, a little um, linen closet with a decent depth in there. Another little closet for when you walk in. Um, maybe that can be reversed. Excuse my uh, vertigo dancing around the house. If you reverse that, maybe you can have a closet on your walk-in, again, depending on your configuration. Um, we have a laundry room here, just outside of that bathroom, uh, with a good depth. Um, it appears that there's more room at the back here, but you are going over stairs, I believe, so you might not be able to get a stacked unit in there to save space. But right now, we have a very functional laundry room. Panel here, definitely ready for an upgrade. Um, as you can see there, I'll try and get through. Insurers don't hate fuses because they are actually technically safer. Um, but again, you're gonna wanna replace this. And we are at, I can't quite see, I'll confirm later, but it looks like potentially, I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> I'll get back to you guys. Going downstairs, we have another bedroom here. So this floor, this, sorry, this house is technically like three floors. I'm finding like a, a dropped living room type scenario that comes off the kitchen. It's gonna walk you around to help you get the layout. Right back around to that front door. So you kind of have a, a loop all the way around. Going down another two-step drop into this little area here which has another washroom off of it. Um, this drop down area was the uh, part of the home that was added later, I'm guessing the 70s. This bedroom that I took you down to on this lower level has a walkout um, onto a little deck. Which I got out before. Okay. Uncooperative. Let's just look out the, the door here. We have a little shed there um, that has some stuff in there, lawnmower, uh, snow blower, some bikes, potentially inclusions as well. Otherwise, a deck here that's probably sitting in at about 14 by 14. Um, looks like a little bit of work needed on the, the ledge there. Just some, that wood kind of carries around like that, but the rest of it appears to be in decent shape. Just a little barbecue pit and then the land you can kind of see at the back of the shed there between the shed and what you can see as a sconce there's a pole and that's where the lot line ends although there is a lot of clear land off the back um, so i don't believe anyone will be developing in there just based off of road frontage don't quote me but for now there is a clear view off the back and then there is a basement i can access again baseboard heaters throughout Going down into the basement area here. You can see where we had an old um, 
wood burning stove, the hearth there. Dehumidifier is just kind of trickling through some old plumbing there. It looks like we had some sort of sink and drain combo, uh, maybe before we got onto municipal um, water and sewers. It looks like there was once a sump pump down there. All right, into another bedroom. So I believe we're at bedroom number three now in the video. A little bit of a view out the back. Um, you can see part of subdivision off the back there and then on the edge of someone else's property. And then it kind of just goes into fields. If anyone's interested, do let me know and I will send you a zoom out of all the property lines, everything going around, the zoning. Um, a little closet here. Um, you could potentially put a little suite down here. Um, the bedrooms are a little smaller. Probably say like 10 by 12. Could probably just barely get a king size bed in here with some room for a side table or something. Uh, quaint closet, and even from the basement, you still get that water view, which is great. Wonderful. And I think that concludes our tour. I do take you, oh, sorry, we have our hot water tank in here, as well as our sewer line out and water in, just sort of like a cold storage room. Um, it's not insulated super well in here, but uh, nothing crazy. So I'll take you back around this way. There was that bedroom we went into, up these stairs into that large bedroom with the rear entrance exit there. And off the side of that was the drop living room and bathroom. Going back up around. To the laundry room, bathroom, kitchen, bed, front door, and again, drop living room. All right, that was 120 Wellington, Maine. Thank you. I'll do a very quick, short video outside, just doing a perimeter walk. Thanks again. Bye.